Up until this point, we've been looking at discrete probability distribution. This set of videos is going to start looking at continuous probability distributions, which are used quite often in statistical analysis. The most basic continuous distribution is what is called the uniform distribution. The uniform distribution is a continuous distribution where any result is equally likely. And so if we were to graph a picture of what this continuous distribution would look like, there would be some minimum value, we'll call it A, a maximum value, we'll call it B. And if we were to graph the shape of this distribution, it would be a perfect rectangle because any result, any number between A and B is equally likely. And the height of that rectangle we can find quite nicely because we know the entire width of the bottom. We can take the top number and subtract the bottom number. That is the length of the bottom. And if the total area is the total probability of 1, we would say the height is 1 over that b minus a value. Which brings up an important point about continuous distributions. With continuous distributions, it turns out that the area underneath the curve is equal to the probability that you would fall inside that area. This is a big idea of continuous distributions. Area gives us the probability. So as we talk about continuous distributions, whenever I use the word area, I'm also talking about its probability. And whenever I talk about probability, I'm also talking about its areas. These words almost become interchangeable as we work with continuous distributions. Let's take a look at what this looks like with the uniform distribution. Let's say the time to fix a furnace is uniformly distributed between one and a half hours and four hours. So what that means, when I see that it's uniformly distributed, that means if I were to draw a picture of this situation, the low value for the time would be 1.5 hours, and the high value for the time would be 4 hours. And then I can draw a rectangle to represent the area between 1.5 and 4 with an equal height. And the height is always going to be the 1 divided by the length. Well, if I were to find the length of this, it would be 4 minus 1.5. The length of this rectangle is 2.5. And so the height is 1 divided by 2.5, which in this case becomes 0 0.4. Now that I know everything about this uniform distribution, I'm ready to answer questions, find probabilities, such as what is the probability that the time to fix the furnace is less than two hours. Well, for every one of these continuous distribution problems, we'll always draw a picture. So we're going from 1.5 to 4. We know the height is 0 0.4. And so there's our rectangle representing all the probabilities. But we want to be less than 2. So 2 is right about here. And if I draw that on my picture, and I want less than 2, so I want this area to the left, we see that area is a rectangle. And we know the area of a rectangle is base times height. Well, the base here is going from 1.5 to 2. That's a distance of 0 0.5, subtracting 2 minus 1.5. So my area is equal to the base of 0 0.5 times the height of the rectangle, which is 0 0.4. And when I multiply those together, we get 0 
That means there's a 20% chance that the time to fix a furnace will be less than two hours. Let's take a look at one more example. Let's say we want to know the probability that it is between two hours and 3.5 hours to fix the furnace. So again, I'm going to draw a picture. The whole thing goes from 1.5 to 4. Using the reciprocal identity 1 divided by the length, we found out the height was 0 0.4. I draw my rectangle in here. And then I want to be between 2, which is about here, and 3.5, which is about here. We want to be between those. Well, again, that shape is a rectangle. And we know area is equal to probability. So I just need to find the area of that rectangle. Area is base times height. Well, the base going from 2 to 3.5, if I subtract those, 3.5 minus 2, I get a base of 1.5. So area is equal to the base of 1.5 times the height of the entire rectangle is 0.4. And that's going to equal to 0 0.60. And so the probability the furnace is fixed between 2 and 3 and a half hours is about 60%. A uniform distribution has the same height. It's a rectangle. And we know that area is equal to the probability.